Hey everybody, it's the Off-Road Diver here today. Uh, the other night, I was, actually Sunday night, I was down at the Cinnamon River in Winnipeg here, uh, magnet fishing. Zach got me uh, a magnet and rope for Father's Day. It's a 400 pound magnet. And I found a bunch of uh, sockets and a couple of wrenches. So I decided to come back today and try to find some more. So far by the looks of it, the water's gone down. Looks like there's a garbage can right there, sitting in the water. But the water before, I don't know if you can see. Here, hold on, I'll switch the camera. The water on Sunday was, uh, I think I was walking basically where that footprint is. And the water was right on that, that edge right there. So it's gone down quite a bit, so hopefully I can find some things a little bit easier. Oh, and one other thing. I'm wearing this uh, Hyde uh, Wingman life jacket that I bought. It's uh, It's got a cartridge in the back, and there's a triangle under here. If I pull it, it self-inflates, or I can pull it open and inflate it myself with a with a tube that's attached to it. Um, if for any reason I have to step in this water, it's actually pretty fast flowing, so at least I can uh, inflate it, because uh, if I don't, I'll get dragged under, no problem. It is pretty shallow, but this is not a river you swim in. It's magnetic. <laughs> I don't think so. No. Nope. Trying to get this garbage can out of here, but it's not working. Doesn't seem like it's magnetic at all. Plastic. That's just grabbing the bottom. No. Nope. Definitely not magnetic. But I felt something down here though. I got my diving boots on. This way I can clean them off later. Need more. Right about here, where I was finding everything. Might have grabbed something. Yes, I did. Nice. Found another socket. <laughs> yeah, nine sixteenth. Deep socket. Found one. Okay. Well, don't get near it because they do bite. Young goose behind me. It was hissing at I heard it because it was hissing at me when I first walked down here. And Fran thinks it might be hurt. 
Found something else. Oh, found another wrench. Oh, and another socket. Sweet. I'm gonna go grab my bag here. <laughs> Look, filming me, filming myself. I'm guessing someone's toolbox fell in the water at one point. Because I just found more sockets. Oh yeah. And, ooh, a whole bunch of bits too. Three sockets and a bunch more bottom mud. Oh yeah, I found another one. Ooh, these keep getting bigger, which means there's a whole socket set down there. Oh, yeah, that's a half inch ratchet. And seven eight socket. Uh, I think so. Hard to read. Kind of hoping I'd pull out a hammer or the ratchet for these sockets too. Oh, another one. Take it to where I'm usually catching things. Right there. Ooh, that feels big. Definitely more weight on there this time. near the ground oh 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 my god I got a whole bunch of them holy crap that's a whole lot of sockets <laughs> get up here That felt heavy. <laughs> like seven sockets on there. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to be off the line on this one. There we go. So, by the looks of it, it's only like less than 10, 10 feet or something like that from me. So that's where the weight picks up. Definitely have something on this one again. Oh, there goes a spoon. Oh, 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 found another wrench, found a couple wrenches. Found an extension, two more sockets. That's awesome. And yes, in the original stuff I found, I did find a 10 millimeter. <laughs> This magnet can be really strong sometimes. Ooh, that bag's heavy already. I do have my magnet rope strapped to my waist with a carabiner on my belt loop, so I don't want up throwing my spool right in the water. I think some things I gotta pull out of the mud. It almost feels like the magnet catches, but not sure. If I had a two-sided magnet, it would grab things a little differently. This one seems to work good right now. Oh, I think I got something that's bouncing around pretty good. Yes, I did. What the heck is this? I found a... That's just a block of wood. Looks like a piece from a bike brake. 
So someone's bicycle might be in here. Go from tools to bikes. Oh, I think I caught something again. If there's a bike frame in there, it's got to be buried. Yeah, I definitely have something that's dragging. something longer oh there it is I found the ratchet nice it's just a quarter inch or three eighths whatever size these are can never remember another deep socket which I can't get off the magnet because it's the entire width of it They're all master craft tools. This one I can't, oh, oh. Did I find another one? Scratch this off here and find out. Oh, it's a nine mil. Not, that, not another 10. Oh, found another one. Getting dragged. That reads. Yep, got another wrench. <laughs> Weird, yep, there we go. Woo! Socket, I'm not sure what that bracket is. Weird bracket. Another deep socket, a wrench, another socket. Kind of hoping I grab one that's maybe still in the case and the rest of the case just pulls out with it. <laughs> By the looks of it, it'll be a black or blue case since it's Mastercraft. Yeah, it's right there. There we go. Oh, whatever that was, was uh, my magnet was actually going backward from where I pulled. Definitely something heavier under there, unless it's just a rock. There it is. Right there. Come on, don't want to lose it this time. Oh. Still on this, just have to switch cameras if there's all of a sudden an audio change or video change. Ugh. Whatever I was stuck on, I'm off of it. Damn. It's definitely something big. That might be a bike frame too, which is going to be buried in the mud, which this magnet may not be able to pull out. It's too hard to tell exactly where it is. So even a grappling hook. There's probably so much stuff in here. Yeah, definitely wasn't tools. Some more wire, another socket, let me say roll, the wire is basically garbage. The sockets aren't that great either, the ones I did find have almost look like acid ate them, which kind of, it's kind of scary for this water, but then again, it's Sonoboyn in the Red Rivers, the red is down that way. Are uh, full of who knows what. 
and apparently actually up on the bridge a lot of people have painted rocks and started making a line up there and now kids are taking them and throwing them in the water because apparently having nice things in cities aren't supposed to exist oh under the wrench oh is it is it oh it's a 3 8 it's the imperial version of the 10 mil And downfall with the gross bottoms to this river. You can't even snorkel it. You wouldn't be able to see anything. Plus it'd be pretty dangerous because we get so many floods in the winter here. Everything comes up from North Dakota. I just found a bolt of some form. Not sure what it is exactly. But yeah, there's who knows, you name it, it's in this river. I think the current downstream at the red where it meets at the the place called the Forks in Winnipeg where the two rivers meet that current is even stronger the top is nothing compared to what's underneath oh found a few more sockets you two of them yeah. Get it off. Yeah. Actually, no, this has dropped way farther because I had to sneak past that bush right there to get around. So the water was like basically where this branch is right here. Yeah, because yeah, I remember having to sneak around this because that's where I slipped right there. That's why I told you guys to stay back. I wouldn't doubt it's a bike frame. Lots and lots and lots of bikes get stolen in Winnipeg and then trashed just so someone can get from point A to B. Doesn't matter if it's a kid's bike or an adult's bike. Custom bikes. It's sad really bikes aren't worth a whole lot of money because our police have actually set up a thing where you can register the serial number on the bike so if a bike comes in with no serial number they already know it's stolen especially at pawn shops oh, found another socket yeah oh and something else what is that uh, get the sock off first. I recognize that. Oh, that's from a bike. Or one of those um, scooters. It's a quick release washer. Well, washer for the quick release seats and, and uh, tires. So. That's a better chance that there is actually a bike down here. And I can't bring it up. So that must be the frame I keep catching that I can't pull out. If it has pedals on, it's definitely going to be buried in that mud. Another piece of wire. I don't know, that's actually a spring. I think that's from a bike, but I can't remember. Another socket, found a screw, found a lock nut, that's weird, must have been in with the tools I'm guessing because lock nuts usually don't come off of things very easily. Looks like another socket. Yes, it is. Is it? No, oh, it's a nine mil. Yeah. Another set of bits. 
another extension, another wrench, and another socket. Now I just need is the other two ratchets. I already know it's a three piece size set, so. Or a three size set, not three piece. Woohoo! Make sure this is locked. Found another socket. 13 mil. Rah. A twist tie. Out of all the things to find, I found a twist tie. Oh, I think this will be the last throw. Mosquitoes are starting to come out. Let's see if we catch anything for the last one. Keep getting hooked on that big thing in the middle, but it ain't gonna come up anytime soon. At least not with this magnet. Nope tell by the weight there's nothing on there if it is it's small oh I did haha <laughs> I was right something small another socket and this one is an eight millimeter oh. so today was pretty good um, got in one heck of a load mosquitoes started to get bad here in Manitoba we kind of call mosquitoes the, the provincial bird because there's so many of them and they're big um, yeah, here I'll show you uh, what I found the day before. They're a lot cleaner because I did clean them and then I'll show you what I found today. Uh, here's Sunday's haul and there is the elusive 10 millimeter socket. I found this uh, small one here by itself. These three together, this by itself and then the other four were all in one shot. And then compared to what I found today, all this wrenches, ratchet, sockets, extensions, bits, only missing I think two out of there by what I can see, and the random bike parts. This bolt here actually belongs with that washer, they go together. These two are just kind of random bolt and nut and a few pieces of wire. So that was a good day. If uh, you like my videos, please click like, hit the subscribe button to see more. If you want to see uh, more content like this, let me know in the comments. And I plan on hopefully fishing that same spot again. Oh, mosquitoes are biting my back like crazy. And hopefully find the rest of that uh, set that's down there. And maybe if the water's low enough, I can actually walk in and grab that larger item I kept hooking up to. So uh, yeah. Feel free to share my videos too if you want, and we'll see you on the next one. See you for now.